Temperatures out there during the afternoons that have been pleasantly cool, but still below normal. Beautiful today at Tanglewood Park found some beautiful fall color, but we also found, yeah, this tree that had been uprooted likely from Halloween storms or maybe even the day after as the soil conditions have been moist and the winds had been up. But look at this uprooted near shelter four and I don't know if you can tell from this perspective, but it's covering the entire playground. So they have it roped off pretty big diameter though for that tree. Yeah, something fun uh, finding out there. We went to the other playground today that is near Mallard Lake there. You can see here as we go into the early morning hours, we don't have to worry about rain or wind uprooting trees at the moment. It's a bigger concern for our sensitive vegetation for the triad. We've got that freeze warning for a third morning in the row on the way for you. Temperatures will hover in those low 30s and they may also uh, drop down a little little bit more in some of the rural areas around the cities. We're already near freezing in Reedsville 31 in Martinsville. These are t chilly spots. Typically they're usually cooling first. You've got 35 degrees in Burlington, but you see 43 in Greensboro, 40 in Winston Salem, and you've had some winds up from time to time, but winds are starting to calm down and that will allow temperatures to cool. Highs today 60 degrees in Burlington. We have 58 in Greensboro area, which is below normal. As we mentioned, we are going to get there. We're getting into those 60s gradually as we head into the next few days. Morning lows also begin to improve once we put you through early tomorrow morning. So a ridge of high pressure is in place. Your skin zero hour by hour forecast showing that more west southwesterly flow that will develop over the next couple of days. So we're expecting some 60s and even 40s for morning lows heading into your Tuesday morning. We are going to bring in some of those clouds and that happens late tomorrow. The front is going to sweep in, but watch what happens as it moves our way. All of that moisture evaporating moving north and east, just not enough to really bring us good showers. So we stay mild and dry. We've got temperatures by Wednesday in those low to mid 60s still and some upper 50s area wide with a ridge of high pressure that builds in briefly before the next front arrives late Thursday. So a series of fronts this week. Nothing bring us, bringing us rain though until Friday morning, unfortunately. 32 degrees with your freeze warning in place for the trine. You're up to 60 degrees later in the day. A nice mild breeze out of the south. And in the foothills from 31, you'll warm to near 59. Also stacking up the clouds as we head into the afternoon hours. We'll watch for that in the mountains with 28 degrees. And even though you are at freezing in the mountains and foothills, your growing season has ended. So you won't see any more advisories or warnings there. You've got 53 degrees with more clouds too. And by later in the week, we talked about that next front that's going to set up. This one could actually bring us some measurable rainfall. We're going to need it by that point. So we did a big job in putting a dent in the drought conditions last week as the rain swept in on Halloween. Now we need more and you can see the slowly approaches for us late Thursday into the overnight hours of Friday. We think that the front's finally going to pick up a little bit of speed exit to the south and east and behind it. We'll see temperatures drop off pretty quickly. We're in the 50s by early Friday morning. What may happen on the timing with this front is it's going to draw in colder air so we could cool throughout the day and those winds may also begin to pick up, but we do know we'll have some sunshine that leads into the weekend for next week and rainfall totals. Not so bad anywhere from about a quarter of an inch in some spots, maybe a half an inch as well. We'll be watching and tracking the timing of all these fronts this week for you. Temperatures improving for your morning lows as well. And when it comes to the outlook looking beyond from the 11th through the 17th into the following week and weekend, we may stay just a little bit above normal. Might have a couple rounds of opportunities for showers, but also cooler than average this time of the year. So we'll be watching for those patterns that may develop here. Your seven day forecast, you can see we got you at 60 on Monday, 65 on your Tuesday, and we've got that 50% chance of rain developing late Thursday night into Friday morning, kicking out that front, bringing in some sunshine, maybe even a few flurries in the mountains late Friday. But for now, enjoying the idea of more sunshine and dry air next weekend.